Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to split and merge cells in Word tables on a Mac MS Word. And here is how. Click inside the cell or select multiple cells in the table that you want to split. If not already visible, click anywhere in the table to display the table design and layout tabs in the top menu. Click on the layout tab. In the merge group with the layout tab, click on the split cells button. In the dialog box that appears, specify the number of columns and rows you want to split the selected cell or cells into. Click OK to split the cells. In Merging Cells, click and drag to select the cells in the table that you want to merge. The cells must be adjacent to each other. If not already visible, click anywhere in the table to display the table design and layout tabs in the top menu. Click on the Layout tab. In the Merge group within the Layout tab, Click on the Merge Cells button. The selected cells will be merged into a single cell. To split a cell vertically, place the cursor in the cell and go to the Layout tab. Click on the Split Cells button. Then enter the number of columns to split the cell into. To split a cell horizontally, place the cursor in the cell and go to the Layout tab. Click on the Split Cells button. Then enter the number of rows to split the cell into. To merge cells vertically, Select the cells in the same column and follow the steps to merge cells. To merge cells horizontally, select the cells in the same row and follow the steps to merge cells. After merging or splitting cells, you may want to adjust the size of the cells to fit the content. Right-click on the merge or split cells and select Auto-Fit from the context menu. Use either Auto-Fit Contents or Auto-Fit Window to adjust the cell size accordingly. After splitting and merging cells, Review your table to ensure that it has the desired layout and structure. Remember to save your document after making changes to your table. By following these steps, you can easily split and merge cells in Word tables on your Mac, allowing you to create customized and organized tables for your documents. And that's it. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.